For door sashes up to 120 kilograms in weight, we recommend installing three Anchorage heavy duty captive flag hinges per door. First, ensure your sash is centrally located in the frame and clamp it in place if necessary. The top hinge should be located 150 millimeters from the top of the sash. The bottom hinge should be located 150 millimeters from the bottom of the sash. Mark these hinge positions. Locate the drilling jig on each hinge location and align the centre line of the jig with your marks. Use the drilling jig to pre-drill the pin locating holes for the frame fixing plate. There are two pin holes per frame piece to drill. There are four pin locating holes marked on the jig, but you only need to drill two. Be sure to select the correct two, depending on which end of the sash is the top and bottom of the door. You must drill the bottom of each two. Use the drilling jig to pre-drill the screw holes and the pin locating holes for the sash piece. There are four screw holes and two pin holes per sash piece to drill. Do not drill the two screw holes closest to the edge of the frame. Be sure to use a long reach drill bit. For pin locating holes, use a 5.5mm drill bit. For screw holes, use a 3mm drill bit. Ensure you hit the steel reinforcing within the PVC profile when you are drilling. If you are using heavy duty screws, after removing the drilling jig, enlarge the holes to accept the larger screws. Locate the frame fixing plate in the pin location holes that were drilled. Ensure the fixing plate is put into position correctly, with the T on the top of the fixing plate positioned at the top of the hinge and towards the top of the door. Insert any packers required underneath the frame fixing plate. Again, ensure the end mark T is at the top of the packer towards the top of the door. There are three screws used on the frame fixing plate. Pre-drill the holes for these screws using a 5.5mm drill bit. Put the centre screw in first. This prevents the collapse of the profile as you fix the plate. Then insert the other two screws. Slide the frame piece over the fixing plate. Secure the frame piece to the fixing plate using the cam pin. Locate the sash piece into the frame piece and force it into position on the sash by pressing it down. Insert the pin through the frame and sash piece. When inserting the pin, check it is set to the compression setting of 1 o'clock. Screw the sash piece into the sash. Start by securing the centre screw and then install screws in a diagonal order. We recommend using M6 by 61mm screws for the frame piece and M6 by 41mm screws for the sash piece. Both of these screws are available from Fabfix. The four screws furthest from the frame are fixed into plastic and steel reinforcing. Ensure you hit the steel reinforcing when you are screwing. The resistance you feel to the screwdriver will indicate whether you have reached the steel. The two screws closest to the frame are only located into plastic, so smaller screws should be used. Typically these are M5 by 16mm or 19mm screws. Be careful not to use screws that are too long, or these will show in the Euro groove area. After fitting all three hinges, check that the sash is centrally located in the frame. To check the sash is centred horizontally in the frame, measure from the edge of the sash to the edge of the frame on both the left and right hand side of the door. If necessary, adjust the horizontal position of the hinges using an allen key in the horizontal adjustment point at the end of the sash piece.
check the vertical position of the sash by measuring from the top of the sash to the top of the frame and from the bottom of the sash to the bottom of the frame. If necessary, adjust the vertical position of the hinges by rotating the cam and then using an allen key in the pin at the top and bottom of the frame piece. Check that the sash is achieving consistent pressure around the door and a proper weather seal. To adjust the compression of the hinges, rotate the compression pin. Place the cover cap over the sash piece. Open the door and secure the sash cover cap using the grub screw supplied and the pin using the anti-lift grub screw.